Hi everyone, happy Monday. We're going to continue our journeys and language arts lesson with lesson 22, day three. Now, for today and tomorrow, we're going to move around between day three, day four, and day five. So if some of your things are labeled, just follow the outline and follow these charts. Okay, so day four and day five materials might be a little mixed up. We're just trying to finish a little bit ahead of schedule so we can move on to an activity for next week right on schedule. So just follow along with me. Phonics, segmenting syllables, clap the syllables, sunset, sun, set, umbrella, how many times are you going to clap, turkey, flashlight, high frequency words, move your body however you want, say them, spell them, say them. Eight, as in the number eight. Okay. Baby, B-A-B-Y, baby. Begins, B-E-G-I-N-S, begins. Go ahead for the rest of those, you guys know what to do. Here we go. Our vocabulary. You're going to interact with the words. Is it easy to see stars on a misty night? Why or why not? Number two, what does it mean if you promise a friend? Have you ever promised someone? Have you ever been promised something and then maybe they broke it? How did that make you feel? What should a person do if they receive a really nice gift? For our phonics lesson, turn the word tan into, into turn. What are you changing? That middle sound. T and N are staying the same. Here we have hat changing to hurt. We have heel, like the back of your foot, to hurl, like to throw something. You're hurling it. Hurl. And then please complete Reader's Notebook, page 99. Our decodable reader. I want you to look for learning years. Predict and blurt. Okay. How does Fox trick the cow? How does Fox trick the cow? the cow. And our anchor text. Um, let me see. Our decodable reader is fox and crow. Fox and crow for here. Fox and crow is on page 51. Page 51. Answer, how does fox trick cow? Our anchor text, amazing animals. Read or watch my video for amazing animals. And then please complete Reader's Notebook page 101 and, or 100 and 101. Our quick write, name in a list three things that are prickly. Mm. Like I said, we're going to smush a few things together. So here we go. Your turn. Your hardcover book, I want you to look onto page 68. Classroom conversation, or now that we're at home, you can have a stuffed animal conversation. How do some animals stay safe? How does a dolphin's tail help it live? A giraffe's spots help it do what? Tell about some parts other animals that help them. Maybe they have hands, maybe they have tails, maybe they have spikes, tongues, um, and necks. 
complete the performance task, which is on hardcover page 69. And that is all we have for today. As always, if you have questions, go ahead and email me. Have an awesome day. Miss you guys.